And here are the field all together. Danny King right in the middle of the picture. And the roads are wet due to an early shower. So vigilance is going to be the order of the day. Turning left here then into Unicorn. Oh, look at this fall. They're sliding all over the place. Well, who was the one that caused that? It looked very much to me as though it was Man and Lloyd that uh, slid away. And also Danny King, well, she went straight into the fence. That was just unfortunate there, both uh, Team USN riders, Lloyd and Kay, just sliding out in this corner. Just see there, the Aspire rider, 1-1-1, one, 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 just uh, falling over ever so slightly. But uh, Danny King touched the barrier, but she's looks OK, she's up and going, and she'll make her way back to the front of this race. Walker has distanced herself off the front then of the uh, small peloton and looking to pick up five points here. Now it's all about who's going to be galloping for the line for the minor points behind. Walker approaching the line and uh, an easy five points. You wouldn't get an easier present than that, would you? From the left-hander, it's quite a short approach to the line. An intelligent move there by Jesse Walker. Nets up the uh, maximum points in this sprint. And we'll just have to wait and see who takes the uh, minor places. Looks like Juniper crossing the line. Oh, tight, wasn't it? Juniper, I think, just about got over the line there for the four points. There's one more sprint to go in this uh, sprint competition, in the women's competition. Confirming the result, it was Walker for five. Juniper got the four. Now, Man and Lloyd got the three. Danny King got the two. Laura Trot the one. So, Man and King, remember, and uh, Danny King were both delayed with that early crash. But evidence of hemorrhaging at the back as the field fractures into several different groups. Face of agony by Katie Archibald as she's dragging the rest of the riders along. Coming up and passing the back markers, Juniper crosses the line first for five. Second was Eleanor Barker and Jessie Walker. Well, she came over the line for third place. Katie Archibald brought the field through the uh, finishing line to claim fourth spot. So let me just tidy up the overall standings then in the spring competition here in Redditch. Nikki Juniper, the winner with nine points, just one ahead of Jesse Walker, third, Eleanor Barker, fourth, Manon Lloyd, and fifth, Laura Trott. Now the big one. We're playing for the final sprint now to decide who is going to win this opening leg. Barker at the front, and she's got uh, Trot in her wheel. Now they're trying to whip the pace up to set Trot up for the sprint. But Danny King, who's now back after a terrible accident that saw her lose months and months off the bike, he's trying to re-establish herself right at the top of the uh, women's racing scene and swing in towards the finishing straight. It's Trot that's going to lead this one out. Trot looking very good, and now she comes up to the line. Trotty takes it on the line. Danny King second, and Nikki Juniper was third. As it's round one, the result doubles as the overall standings. Places in the top four for Nikki Juniper and Elia Dickinson went a long way to putting their team Giordana Triton at the top. Juniper also won the sprint competition on the night. We're looking at the field here, waiting uh, for the flag to drop for round two of the Pearl Azumi Tour Series. We're in Redditch, and I must admit it evokes memories of uh, some pretty fierce competitions over the years and I expect tonight to be equal to those. It's all about who can depose one pro cycling of the overall lead. So Lampier now working hard, that in, that's an indication of just how hard it is, he's out of the saddle or he was dancing on the pedals but Lampier is now being swept up and now it's Kanitsky the Frenchman who's a triple world champion looking to try and add to the five that he picked up in riding the Isle of Wight. Yes, Kanitsky crosses the line first and gets maximum points. Well no matter what the pace is up, Ed Clancy there for JLT Condor just towards the back. And there is the official result of sprint one. Morgan Ganitsky from Rally GAC getting the five. Johnny McAvoy the four. Berg felt the three. Christian Howes got the two. And the one went to Tom Stewart. This is Morgan Ganitsky taking flight again. Well, he's trying to add another five to the full house he got in sprint number one. And I tell you what, that's the perfect move. He can almost free wheel to the line. Morgan Ganitsky picks up another five. And uh, Tom Stewart, the overall leader in the... Uh, points competition gets four for second looked easy there for the uh, rally GAC rider as he takes maximum points yet again so there's the result Kanitsky gets another five Tom Stewart second for four Peyton gets the three house the two and still Van Hoff picking up the one so the Frenchman who is such a talented track rider is really on fire tonight there are the standings at the moment Kanitsky's got ten five ahead of Stewart house lying third on four tying with McAvoy and Bergfeld has got three look this is the move now 
terrific move here. Great injection of pace by Kanitsky. Kanitsky has distanced himself. Lovely pedaling action. And that, of course, is why he's a world champion on the track. Kanitsky's gone clear and looking to pick up the five points. Yep, he does that. Now then, what about behind? Looks like Stewart again coming up to the line to get second. That's a replication of the previous result for first and second. There's the result. Kanitsky gets another five. One more than Stewart with Christian House third. Bergfeldt gets the two. And Richard Hanley gets the one. So the Yorkshiremen on the front here as we show you the standings. What it means here is that Morgan Kanitsky with 15, that's a cushion of six over Tom Stewart, is the winner of the points competition for tonight here in Redditch. Sun's coming out. The uh, pressure at the front of the peloton is heating up. This is going to be a great finale. He's trying to distance himself from the front, but Mole sees the danger. And Jonathan Mole now is boring down onto the wheel of Christian House. And also Griff Lewis looks across as well. So the five regroup, and again House tries to inject more pace and get clear. It's a good effort, but you can see, just see the frustration now. Christian House is really not happy about the other riders. Well, what's happening here is every time House goes clear, they're so aware of how strong he is, they will not let him get clear. Now it's the turn of Mike Northy. Northy trying to go away, and Kanitsky decides he's going to chase down Northy. Looks as if Christian House has maybe made a little mistake here because uh, this looks as if Griff Lewis for Pedal Heaven is starting to be distanced. We've turned left onto Unicorn Hill, and it's Mike Northy going for the individual win. Now this is a steep hill that leads them to the finish and it's Northy applying the pressure trying to shake off his shadows but he's not winning there and it's Kanitsky the triple world champion, the Frenchman that looks has got plenty of riding in his legs Kanitsky leading off the bend and uh, right in his wheel there is John Mould, he's celebrating the Frenchman what's he doing? Oh it's far too early Mould's taking it on the left what a gift that was, Mike Northy came over for third, Christian has fourth and Griff Lewis fifth well i tell you what he'll rue the day there lifting his arms up brian here come the rest of the field sprinting in and the bunch sprint taken by chris opie of one pro cycling well what on earth was he doing there they're all friends now but mold saying thank you but it's madison genesis took over the tour series leaders jerseys from one pro cycling